predictive models of vector transmitted diseases have great potential as tools in the development of intervention measures to protect public health. Predictive models estimate the future risk of a disease and permit public health agencies to anticipate potential outbreaks. Dengue fever is a vector transmitted disease of growing importance which already affects more than a million people a year in Latin America. The dengue virus is distributed widely in the tropics and subtropics and can be found in the United States on the Gulf of Mexico and in the majority of countries in Latin America. It is believed that the latitudinal range of dengue is expanding as a consequence of global climate change. Dengue is transmitted by the mosquito Aedes aegypti, which multiplies in standing water in urban and semi-urban environments. Transmission of the dengue virus occurs when a female mosquito feeds on an infected individual and passes the virus to susceptible individuals in subsequent blood meals. Local and regional public health agencies can benefit from the development of models that permit them to accurately predict the appearance of dengue cases, which can help them then develop risk management strategies before outbreaks occur. We developed a prototype spatiotemporal model for the city of Leon in Nicaragua in partnerships with experts from El Ministeria Nicaragüense de Salud and others. This model permits the prediction of dengue case risk nine weeks into the future. At the center of the prediction system are statistical models that were calibrated and tested against 10 years of historical data in Leon. Previous scientific studies have demonstrated relationships between the incidence of dengue and climatic, ecological, socioeconomic, and demographic conditions in a location. Based on these studies, we assembled 10 years of historical data about confirmed dengue cases and environmental, climatological, socioeconomic, and demographic factors that affect either the Aedes mosquito or the virus itself. The city of Leon is located on the Pacific Slope of Nicaragua, 70 kilometers northwest of Managua and 17 kilometers from the Pacific Ocean. This historical Spanish colonial city has 175,000 residents living in 100 different barrios spread over an area of about 15 square kilometers. The climate of Leon is highly cyclical with a dry season lasting from December to May and a strong wet season between June and November. We developed our model using the addresses of the households of 225 confirmed dengue patients from health clinics in Leon between 1998 and 2008. Using the historical dengue case records, we developed a mathematical model that permits the prediction of relative risk for a new dengue case to occur in each part of the city. This model uses maps of the different variables that affect mosquito abundance and dengue transmission probabilities. The following variables were used. Mean weekly precipitation and temperatures in the weeks preceding each dengue case. Elevation. Flow accumulation. Slope. A water pooling index. Population density. Housing density. The percent of households in extreme poverty. The rate of fertile women to children under five years of age. Percent of the population less than 15 years old. Percent of houses with toilets or latrines. Percent of houses without access to garbage collection services. Percent of houses with no potable water source on site. After a model has been developed, it can be used to make spatially explicit predictions of risk that can be represented in maps. For example, this map shows the relative risk of a dengue case occurring in all parts of Leon. The color red indicates high relative risk and blue indicates low risk of case occurrence. The models developed correctly predict a high proportion of dengue occurrences from the last decade. 
it was possible to develop a model that correctly predicted more than 80% of the cases. For this reason, we believe that our approach has promise for the prediction of future dengue risk in other locations. When risk predictions are projected in a time series onto the last 10 years of data, seasonal patterns in case occurrences are very obvious. Watch as the results are projected on every week of climate and spatial conditions that were present in the study area during this period. Red points indicate the date and place of a confirmed dengue case, and the year and month of the prediction are shown in the bottom center part of the screen. The model did a good job predicting the outbreak of the virus between the months of November 2000 and January 2001. In general, the model does a good job capturing the correspondence between environmental conditions and the dengue cases over the last decade. The dengue outbreak in November 2005 was well predicted by the model. There were very few cases of dengue in 2007 and 2008. An important benefit of the model is that it can be used with climate data for the most recent weeks to predict the appearance of cases nine weeks into the future. We are currently designing an automated early warning system for the city of Leon that uses the model's forecasting ability to assist the Nicaraguan Ministry of Health to develop dengue abatement strategies. For example, in barrios with consistently high risk, the ministry can focus their attention on, it, on educating the residents about how to minimize their risk of contracting the virus. The model presented here demonstrates that it is possible to predict the risk that new dengue cases will occur with sufficient accuracy to justify more effort to develop and test models with better data sets. The benefits of having a functional forecasting model to anticipate public health emergencies are sufficiently great that efforts should be made to expand the geographic area over which the dengue model can be applied by including data from other urban environments in Latin America. For more information, visit www.cenia.net.ni slash vectores. This project was supported by the World Bank Trust Fund for Environmentally and Socially Sustainable Development in partnership with El Ministerio Nicaragüense de Salud, MINSA, El Instituto Nicaragüense de Estudios Territoriales, INETER, El Sistema Nacional de Información Ambiental de Nicaragua, CINIA, the Pan American Health Organization, the Inter-American Biodiversity Information Network, and the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Nicaragua en Managua.